and welcome to Tinkercad Lab. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different, but still very educational. You might get a kick out of it. Yes, we're making an emoji. Now, which one in particular? That one right there. Now, just by the looks of it, it's hard to tell that there's actually a, a three-dimensional shape there. Just, I mean, this looks a little bit different, but I'm, let's give you a close-up so you can see what I'm talking about. When this prints, you'll have the deepest layer, which is parallel to the lines. You'll have the teeth and then the face print on three separate layers. And then this um, sweat drop or tear, I'm going to guess it's sweat, uh, appear on three different layers. So you'll have more dimension when you're printing it. But here's the thing. The mouth and the eyes and the tear don't appear anywhere here, so we're going to have to make them from scratch. So let's move this aside and let's start with our basic, basic uh, shape. I do not like these flat areas, so I'm going to uh, have it selected. I'm going to go to sides and I'm going to make this the highest possible level. There you go. Now I don't know what size I have it here, but let's check 179. All right, well I'll, I can do the same thing here but I'm a little bit lazy, I'll just put two. And here, 20 is fine. Now this one is not 20, and that's just because I enlarged it. But it started off at, at 20, and we're gonna, we're gonna work with this one. First of all, it's gotta be yellow. How can you make an emoji and not be yellow? Although there's a bit of orange in the pictures that I'm looking at. All right, so here we go. We have this, now let's start with the eyes. The eyes are actually also going to start off as cylinders, and again, I'm going to change the side so there's at least 64. I'm going to change this to make it small. I'm holding the shift button so that it keeps the same shape. Okay, I put it over here. I'm going to zoom in by clicking this button here. And obviously this thing is super far sticking out from the face. Um, yep. That looks about right, I guess, for now. But I'm going to, yeah, I'll keep it there. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna move this over here so I can see it better. I'm gonna copy and paste this, copy and paste. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna change this second one to transparent, and then I'm gonna make it smaller. Now, something about the eyeball that I have not dealt with yet, let me focus on here, is I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit. Mm, that sounds about right, or that looks right. And for this one, I'm just gonna make it go straight, I'm gonna make it go straight up by clicking the center. Let's go back and see what we have here. Whoa, what happened to that? Oh, I didn't select that one to minimize as well. Anyways, if you look at the eyeball, let's look over here. Let's focus on this and then include, you see that right there? It's oval here and the circle goes into the, the shape itself. So I'm gonna make this a little bit wider. I'm gonna shift it, whoa, that's too much. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and let's see. I'm gonna take the snap grid off Actually, I don't mind the snap grid. I just want it to be a little bit smaller increments. That looks about right. Maybe it's a little bit longer here, but I'm not minding that. I'll just change it a little bit to, uh, I don't know, 6.5. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right, so now I have the eye. I'm gonna group them, and there you go. Although that thing, I don't know, something's weird about it. Oh yes, this side seems to be longer than that side. So I'm gonna undo that, Control Z. And I'm gonna move it over to the left a little bit. And that looks about right. Okay, now I'm gonna group. Now I have my eye, now it looks like a little bit to the left. So since I moved it twice last time, I'll move it once this time and now it should be perfect. Wow, it is not. 
this is nice. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm glad you caught this because this is what I do with my with my uh, situations here. I'm going to make it a little bit wider. Notice I clicked on this side because it's going to move this side over a little bit. I'll make it 5.1. That should be enough to even out both sides. That looks a lot better. All right, so I'm going to put this over here. And I'm going to copy and paste that. I'm going to hit the shift and it makes it go in the same direction. Although they, they look a lot bigger compared to what I have here. And also, I can't really tell if this is the center of the face. So here's what I'm going to do. This is actually the goal of the lesson today. I want you to see something. You see the grids? They're there for a reason. And to be very specific, it's there to help you align things. Now, it looks like down here, the bottom of my circle is just touching that line. And this side is just touching this one. But if you want the best view, you need to go upside down. I'm going to select this, hit center, and I want, I want to see the back. No, apparently not. I want to see the bottom. There. Again, center. Now, you see that black square? It is at the center. Actually, I think I can move it down just a little bit. Yes, that looks much better. Now, this one is on this line. This side is on that line. Top and bottom are on the line. Great. So here's what I see. If, can you see that this eye is closer to the center than that eye? So I'm going to click on this eye and move it right about there. Yeah. So this is the center, and it is. Now I see that I have one, two blocks before I get to that one. But you know what? This one needs to move over a little bit more and go up. I'm basing this on, you see how there's a, let me zoom in a little bit more here. There's a little bit of space between the line and here and a lot of space here. So I'm going to move this up or to the right and then up a little bit. Now I can tell that there's two blocks this way and two blocks that way. This is more centered. Now, if you don't use this kind of detail when you print it, you'll see, wait, something's off here and it, it'll be off centered. Ah, here's something else I want you to see. This side is touching, is crossing the line, and this side is not. Here's what I'm going to do. Because I think there's an issue here that I can fix just by rotating this eye. Let me rotate this eye. Which way do I want to rotate it? That way. I think if I flip it, let me use the shift. There you go. I think I can fix that problem. Let me look again from the bottom. And, whoa, way too much. Okay, let's click the bottom again. There you go. Does that fix our problem here? Ah, we can't get that eye anymore. I'm going to click on here and then we'll rotate it back. I think I should go down a little bit, a little bit more. Move it over to the left and one more. I think that's as close as I can get it now. Let me take out the snap grid off and Oh, the precision. I like it. I think we're good there. Again, this kind of detail, it's up to you if you want to go that far. But the next part is going to be the mouth. Let me look at the top view. Okay, so the mouth, based on what I see here, is just a half circle. But you'll see we're going to run into a problem because there is no half circle with an indentation going uh, at the very top. So I'm going to have to create that from scratch. And here we go. Round roof is what, is it, what this is called. I'm going to rotate this. I'm going to hit the shift button there and shift again while I click this. Gives me the mouth. I know, it doesn't look too good. How tall are these things? Three. Let's make this one three. Where did that go? Oh, there it is. So I'm going to move this back up and I'm going to click on this and make that zero. That, may, that moves it all the way 
up and this is flush at the bottom, exactly what I want. Now, I think most of you can see that the mouth is not centered. Should I even mess with it this way? Or, better yet, let's do it the easy way. I know, it's so hard to see this when it's upside down. This is the shortcut. This is the center, and that is the center of the shape. The center of the face, center of the shape. So if I just click on it, I can center it without worrying at all about the center. Now it is centered. In fact, I'm going to work on it upside down now. I want this to be, let's make it 12. And again, I can just make the center go automatically over here. That smile is not wide enough for me. So, how about 14? Yeah, 14 seems about right. And we are good. So here's what we're gonna do now. Earlier, I mentioned that it doesn't curve down like it should with this shape over here. It's just straight. So to curve, here's what we do. And I can't really look at this face upside down. I'm gonna, okay, so here we go. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna copy and paste this one and we're gonna change it to make a hole. Now, if I just do this, it'll make most of my smile go away. So what I need to do is enlarge this dramatically. I'm gonna change it to 20. And does that do what I want it to do? That's a bit much. So if I want it to be just a slight indent, I have to use a bigger number. So let's go with 25 and let's see what that looks like. I like it. I like it, but I'm gonna go 30. 30, and this is as far as I'm gonna go. Yeah, okay, so now here's what I'm gonna do. From I'm gonna select the hole, that's a half circle, and this one, and I'm gonna group them, and look what happens. Now I have the indentation I want, and the shape that I want. Now for the teeth. I'm going to create a duplicate of this. Now if I just put it here, as you can see, the teeth won't go straight across or the way they are in the shape. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to enlarge this to, I'm going to make up a number. Let's see if that, what that looks like here. That is not too bad. I'm going to make it a little bit wider, 25. And just to make sure it's centered, I'm going to use the same trick I used before. I'm going to go look at the back. And it's not centered, so I'm going to go over, I'm not sure you guys can see that. The little square is now at the center. Okay, now what am I doing with this? Let's show you what I'm going to do. Mm, and how do I do that? I'm thinking here because you need to think pretty hard to get this done correctly. Okay, so I'm gonna choose this eye, that eye, and the mouth, and I'm gonna move them up. Actually, I'm gonna change it to that. Because, well, let me show you what would happen if I didn't move it. If I selected this and the face, here's what I, what I would get. It would go completely through, and you know what? That's not too bad. I like the way that you can see through this. But here's the thing. I need another layer down here, and I can change this to 1.5, I think. Yeah, that's not too bad. But then you have this over here on, and this over here. Not good. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this block over here. I'm going to copy and paste it. And I guess I chose the wrong one. It's okay. This over here and this one here. So now I'm gonna select both the left and the right, this one, this one, and now I'm gonna click on this. If I group all these together, which I did, see the blue, the blue, and the blue tells me they're all grouped. Now I got rid of that. Now when I print this, it's gonna have, I like that, I'm not sure about you, let's look at them side by side. See, what I was planning to do was to raise 
the eyes and the mouth enough so that it would leave an indentation when you printed it. And it would look like this. But I really like how it looks over here, just going all the way through. And then the mouth, halfway through, I'm gonna move it down a little bit. Actually, no, I'm gonna make it go to one. No, I'm gonna change it back 1.5. It looks more like a smile that way. All right, so now I'm gonna select all of it, group it, and there is my smiley face. Now, in this one, originally when we saw it earlier today, I showed you that uh, it was a teardrop or sweat. One day I'll figure it out. Let me show you how I get that. Now, this is the one thing that I feel is a little bit off when making these because it just doesn't look that good. But from far away, when you're printing this at 20 millimeters, you can't really tell. All right, so I'll move this over here. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this triangle over here. And I'm gonna rotate this. There you go. I'm gonna move it up. Actually, this is the moving. Once it's at zero here. Now, let's find out what the width is. 5.2, let's just make that five for right now. Five, that way I can click over here and make this five. So there you go, how tall is it? Click on this and it's, oh my goodness, it's five again, five. I'm gonna click on this in the top part. I'm gonna make that five as well. So you can see it's starting to come together, but I want you to see something. When I put this together, it doesn't look quite right. So let's focus on this right here. I'm gonna move this right there. And does that look like a teardrop? Eh, very little. So let's see what we have. This one's five. And this one's five. So theoretically they should match, but they don't. So let's move this up. Uh, click on that, zero, good. Now I'm gonna move this so that it's barely touching. Wow, it's so hard to see. Let's move them both and then click on here. All right, a little bit more. Oh, I'm moving both of them. One more. And I move it a little bit to the left. All right, well, that's not too bad, but here. Let's group them. What do we have? You see, we have a little bit of a space. So I'm gonna control Z and then I'm gonna click on this to make it go a little bit more. There, I think they're touching now. That's what I want. And there's our teardrop. Now, obviously this thing is huge compared to, to the picture we have here, right? So I just need to adjust the size. And there you go. Let's move it a little bit higher. And does it look like that? It does. All right, so here's the thing. If you can print this at 20, which it's 20 by 20, you can just select both of them. And before you print something, you can just enlarge it to whatever size you want and it'll keep the same shape. And now you can make this huge, happy, crying, laughing face to scare your family. I don't know why you'd want this, but it's there. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this and learned a lot. Please play with it because that's how you get better at it and don't be afraid to try things. All right, enjoy.